Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use is functions in Excel. So we are going to inspect three different is functions, is number, is text and is blank. And we are going to use the combination of if function and these is functions together. So let's, let's start with the first one. We have some things, some text, some numbers and some blank cells in our column, in things column. So the first question is, is this a number? And says that write yes if true, otherwise write no. So we are going to write uh, if function together with is number function. How we are going to do it? So I'm writing my, my if function. In my if function, I'm going to use is number as a logical test. So is number this cell this returns correct if this is a number and returns false uh, if this is not a number so if this is a number i want it to write yes if not i want it to write no so this one is yes and i am just copying and pasting my formulas and you see these returns no these returns yes the similar logic applies to is text and is blank functions so let me also show you how is text is text function returns a value if i write the is text function uh, alone and select something it returns false for this but if i move this this one which is a text it returns true so I uh, use this information in my if function. So I'm going to write my if function as I did in the first example. But this time, if this is a text, I select my cell and write yes if correct and write no if not. I'm also copying and pasting. And you see this is a text, this is a text, this is a text, and so on. I'm going to use my last uh, is function for this column as well. This is is blank. So this returns true if this cell is blank. It's blank function. And I'm selecting this. If correct, yes. If not correct, no, and I'm pasting it. A small tip here can be uh, you see, this is a blank cell, and this returns yes because we have used the is blank function. But be careful, you can see this like blank, but if there's a space here, it will return no. You see, and also I deleted this and it will return yes again. If I put um, nothing in quotation marks, it will still return no because Excel thinks that there is something here, even if uh, even we don't see anything. So be careful uh, while you are using is blank function. Um, if I want to check if there's something or not in that cell, I generally use lamp function, which we have used. Uh, which we have learned in the previous video. So I write lamp function, choose a cell, and it turns it returns zero for this one. And I use this information. And if, for example, in if function, if lan is greater than zero, write greater than zero than zero. For example, this returns me zero. If I have a space here it shows me the um, the character greater than zero so be careful how you use this information in your spreadsheets and in the second example we are going to use again a combination of if and is number so it says check things column if it's a number multiply it with the multiplier this one otherwise write x x x to the result column 
So it tells us to use if function and wants us to check if this is a number. This one. And if this is a number, then we are going to multiply this number with the multiplier. And be careful, I fix my absolute reference so it doesn't change. And if it is not a number, then I'm going to write xxx. So I'm just copying and pasting. You see, this is a number, so I multiply it with 3. This is not a number. There are x, x, x here and here. And you see these are numbers. This is getting multiplied and so on. And let's check our results now. And seems like it's okay. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to learn how to use the concatenate, concatenate and other text joining functions. So keep following.